Hello everyone, my name is Luis Felizardo, I am from Brasilia, Brazil. And first of all, I'd like to thank you for the invitation. And it's a great pleasure to participate in this guy's search project and share with you a little of my experience. I'm a professor at Faculdade São Leopoldo Mandique and Instituto Praxis here in Brasilia. And I have been working with dental implants since the year 2000. And since then, great change had happened in dentistry, in especially in implantology. In my lecture, I will show you a technique to customize the healing abutment to create a better gingival emergency profile, in especially in posterior areas. Let's see. In the late 90s and early 2000s, to complete the treatment with dental implants, many of us still followed the protocol established by Branemark, making two or three surgeries after the tooth extraction. But today we know with features of macro design and microtopography of our implants and the treatment of their surfaces, we can put an implant immediately after the tooth extraction and put a healing abutment and do not close the gingiva. Of course, respecting the initial stability of the implant and filling the gap properly. And what we have to understand is that the characteristics of perimplantar gingival sulcus are very similar to periodontal gingival sulcus, but with different dimensions and with different locations of collagen fibers. Here we can see different layers, the gingival margin, the junctional epithelium and the connective tissue around the neck of our implants. And the reproduction of the anatomical characteristics of natural crawl favors function, protect the soft tissue around the implant, increasing its long-term stability and providing more comfort to our patient. And when we talk about perimplantar gingival profile, it can be achieved in two different ways, with provisional crowns and with custom healing abutments. And in the case of provisional crowns, they are more suitable for interior areas with an aesthetic appeal where we must to condition in the gingival tissue to give back their natural features such as the papillas. And we have a lot of papers talking about soft tissue conditioning, about contour management of implant restorations, of soft tissue remodeling techniques, about provisionalizing immediate implant and determining the emergency profile. As we have seen, several devices can be used to create an adequate and natural emergency profile and to reduce the number of surgical intervention and to reduce the total treatment time. And here in this paper of our colleagues from Italy is very clear the difference between the two techniques. Here in left side we can see the standard healing abutment and this is the result. And here at the right side we can see the custom healing abutment and the result after the cicatrization. And here we can see a very wide emergency profile, too much more natural than if we compare with a standard emergency profile. And in this paper they also show us that after immediate implant, as the primary stability of implant was low to make a provisional restoration, it was decided to fill the gap properly and to perform a immediate customized healing abutment using a straight peak abutment and applying around the healing a small amount of flowable resin, creating a subcritical area and a critical area at the straight peak healing abutment to give back the natural contour of soft tissue. In our first case, I will show you two different situations at the same site. And first, we split the tooth in three parts and then we start drilling the bone through the tooth, using it as a guide to reach the septum. And then, we did the complete extraction of the root and at the premolar site, we did a programmed incision 
because we need to create a papilla between both implants. And we proceed with the installation of the implants side by side in the ideal three dimension position and then we fill the gap with BIOS. And the fluorobo resin is applied around the healing abutment in a small amount and light curd. In order to prevent the contact with the graft bone, we can do it out of mouth. Then the polishing and finishing procedures are carried out. And here we have the image 8 post-operative situation. And note that we complete the surgery with the autologous connect tissue graft. And this is the result after 60 days. We already have a little inflammation, but we have a good contour. And after four months, we can see a much healthier and much better looking gingival tissue. And we can see our papilla looks like a natural papilla. Enabling now a custom impression to be made without bleeding and with much more fidelity. And here we have our pieces. Our definitive zirconia pillars and our porcelain crowns. Here we have the installation of our zirconia pillars and here our crowns in position. Here is the day one, we have a good result, but after 45 days the aspect looks much better and with much healthier tissue. And in this view, it's difficult to identify what is a natural tooth and what is an implant. And in the second case, we see a tooth completely destroyed, but it was possible to install the implant immediately. But see, the buccal bone wall was lost, and it could be a risk to put an immediate provisional crawl as a low primary stability for immediate provisional restoration was achieved, it was decided to perform an immediate standard healing abutment and the gap was filled with BIOS and an autologous connective tissue graft was made to prevent and compensate for changes in gingival contours that occur after the tooth extraction. And as we already know, and it was showed in these two classic papers by Araujo and Lindy 2005, the dimensions of the alveolar ridge and the bone wall, especially the buccal bone wall, decrease in volume after the tooth extraction, even with the placement of the implant in the fresh socket. Many other papers show us, more often, the aesthetic implication of this loss of horizontal and vertical volume in the area of anterior teeth, but this one of Matarazzo et al. 2009 shows that the posterior areas also suffer for important resorption and this is the reason to concern to compensate this eventual loss with the connected tissue graft. And here we can see the vertical changes and the horizontal changes. And this is the aspect at the end of the surgery. But after 22 days and still with the gingival graft stabilization suture, we can see an excellent healing. At this moment, we can customize the abutment to create a more suitable gingival profile for this molar. And here we have 
a much larger and broader contour, similar to contour of the natural molar. And so, we finish the gingival con conditioning and leave it ready for prosthetic treatment. And here we have the natural contour of a molar. It's incredible, but it's real that we get this after only 45 days. And in my final considerations, my friends, I can say that when the tooth extraction is unavoidable, immediate implant appears to be a great alternative to avoid increasing the number of surgical interventions. And it's extremely important and necessary to carry out measures to compensate or minimize the physiological changes that happen in bone and soft tissue in order to obtain a safe and a long-term rehabilitation with a natural aesthetic characteristics. And the use of the custom healing abutment techniques aims to present an alternative treatment to avoid a second surgical stage to expose the implant and mainly to maintain and recreate the natural soft tissue contour. In finishing my presentation, my friends, like the great physician Stephen Hawking said, the intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. And changes are happening all the time in our lives, are happening every day in dentistry, in implantology, and we have to follow these changes and we have to bring into our offices practical solutions and effective solutions to our patients. And my special thanks to all my mentors since the beginning of my career in implantology, because alone we go faster, but together we go further. And this is my city, Brasilia, and all of you are invited to visit. All of you are welcome. Thank you for watching and be safe and stay healthy.